Today's video is on the new 2019 BMW F850 GS and we'll compare it to our recent evaluation of the new 2019 BMW F750 GS. So 850 today and we'll compare it with the 750 GS we did about three weeks ago. But first let's do a walk around of the new 850 GS. The F850 BMW for 2019 with the beautiful gold wheels and the quick shifter up and down, but we'll tell him. Our boy Tyler will be out in a minute and he'll tell us all about the spike. That look nice or what? The 850. Yes, I'm going to take a ride on it today and see how we like it. I'm here with my good friend Tyler here at Euro Cycles and he's going to tell us a little bit about the 850 Grand Sport and uh, we did the 750 already and now yes. he's going to tell us a little bit about the, 11, the 850 and what it's all about. So the 850 is the same engine. It is yep. tuned a little bit differently for a larger displacement, giving you a little bit more horsepower, a little bit more torque. The electronics are very similar. The similarities between this bike and the 750 are very subtle. Um, obviously the 850 is taller. You do get inverted forks on the 850 and steel brick brake lines on the 850 as well. You get a larger front tire going to the 21 inch front tire. And obviously, taller suspension means taller seat height. The 850 also will be coming in a GS Adventure package as well soon. So you're gonna be able to get crash bars, a taller windshield on the Adventure, and pannier mounts on the Adventure as well. The 850 does have different ride modes. You get dynamic, enduro, brain, and road and then you have the different suspension modes. So with the bike turned on, you can change the from road to dynamic, and then you can change from, say, bike won't do it unless it's turned on, but you can change from one up riding, one up in cargo, and two up riding. Yep. You get your adjustable, you get your electronic cruise control there, and your ABS button right there. So it's a very comfortable riding bike, just like the 750. Um, the difference is, like I said, mostly seat height, mostly ground clearance is a lot okay. higher on the 850 rather than the 750. Great. The 850 also has more torque and more horsepower, which is appealing to a lot of people, being able to have a little bit more get up and go in the higher RPM ranges. All right, so we're going to take this for a little ride. And, uh, We'll compare it to the 750 I rode about three weeks ago and yep. see the difference. So, all right, let's wheel her outside and we'll take it for a ride. <laughs> Interesting to see the difference between the oh, yeah. 750 and the 850. You'll notice right away. So, oh, it's taller. I noticed that right away. It's taller. What taller? Yeah. When I push the button here. Yeah, there we go. And we're running. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. I'll take the same road I took before. Yeah. Okay. All right. There we go. A little taller in the seat. That's interesting. We'll sneak right around here. Corner's nice. Wow. This is nice. Very nice. 
nice. Very smooth. I like this. So far, so good. We'll see. She rides nice. A little smoother ride than the uh, 750. I think it has to do with the suspension. I'm on road mode, so I've got it in road mode, so it's, it sounds pretty good. Got plenty of juice. I'm in fourth gear. Here's third without using the clutch. Ooh, shifter worked nice. Here is in second. You didn't even know I made a shift, probably. All right, it's nice. You can flick this bike around ni nicely. It just, it feels good. I think it's going from the 750 to the 850, I think going up uh, to the 850 is a definite step up uh, on the bike compared to the 750. I think this has a little more speed, a little more power. And uh, definitely more power. Yeah, this thing rides good. Uh, plenty of uh, get up and go. It's nice. Trying to figure out the directionals. My directionals on my the bike that I have uh, don't shut off. So. Um, these do, so that's nice. I think they do, I'm not sure. I, maybe they don't, maybe I shut them off. Maybe I didn't use them, but um, I'm always leaving them on. I'm thinking about other things when riding the bike. So, this is nice. I love the gold wheels. Do you see the gold wheels on the intro? The gold wheels are really nice. They look beautiful. They look really, really nice. They look really, really nice. So. Now, this is sweet. Oh. I like this. I like the little higher uh, higher up. That, uh, the tank feels a little more substantial and bigger. I, I, I don't know if it's any bigger or not, but it feels bigger. If you look at the tank, it's um, it seems to have a uh, bigger stance to it. I'm not sure. I'd have to get back on the 750 and sit on it. But this this feels substantial. Well, not substantially, but more bike than the 750. It's more. And I, don't ask me why. The windshield's a little bit bigger. Notice that? The windshield's nice. And uh, it, it's beautiful. I mean, and it rides. There's nothing to it. Um, it's just a very nice riding bike. And uh, it's a pleasure to be on this. And the seat is comfortable. One of the things they've had a problem with and some of the other bikes that I've owned, uh, especially uh, the Yamaha that I have now, is that the bike seat is like sitting on a damn stone wall. It just, it beats the daylights out of my butt. <laughs> shifting is a dream on this bike. I'm using the clutch this time and I'm downshifting and it just puts you right in the right RPMs and everything. It, and the brakes, the brakes on this thing are phenomenal. And on the engine, engine braking is very good too. But everything about this bike is nice. I'm going to go through my little dirt place I went before with the 750. It's it's not much of a test, but I just it's kind of fun to go in here and and uh, just go around the go around the uh, the loop, so to speak, and uh, see what it feels like. But this thing is nice. I really like this. I don't know what the 1250 is like. I was going to ride the 1250 today, but somebody was out on a long, uh, a long um, demo ride, and uh, they haven't come back. So I said, "Well, what the heck? I'll take the 850 out because this 850 is a very interesting bike." And see if I can give you a nice comparo of the two. It's kind of tough. This definitely feels quicker. Um, I like the sound of the engine sounds a little bit different. I don't know what it is, but the engine sounds uh, a little more throaty. I don't, I could be totally wrong. I'm just going on, you know, it's been three weeks since I drove the uh, 750, so it's hard to tell. But it seems like the engine has a little more uh, woof to it, if you will, a little more back to it. I kind of like that. So, who knows? 
They're both nice bikes. I could live with either one of them. I could live real well with this one. <laughs> and um, the only thing I want to do is have a, uh, boy, these brakes are just absolutely beautiful. You only need either one or two fingers for these brakes. You don't need your four fingers. You don't need three fingers. One or two fingers uh, will do just fine. Um, oh, I'll show you. Here's one finger. I mean, that really breaks down nicely uh, with one finger. I'm using the uh, quick shifter. It has a little clunk to it, probably because I'm uh, not getting off the gas early enough. I don't know. But it's nice. I like shifting it. You can shift much smoother if you use the... Uh, if you use the uh, shifter, it, uh, the clutch, it'll, it's, smooth, it, it's much smoother than if you uh, use uh, the quick shift, you know, just using it without using the, the clutch. So, no, this, this, uh, this rides nice. And you don't need two hands, one hand. It's, the, the bike is so beautifully balanced. I can sit up here and put my hand up here all day and just ride the bike one-handed. I mean, it's it it's it's just so true in the way it rides. You don't you just feel comfortable. You just feel automatically really. And I just got on this bike five minutes ago, and I feel this much comfortable on the bike that I can ride one-handed, um, taking the right-hand turns, taking the left-hand turns. It doesn't matter. Left-hand turns, right-hand turns. Uh, it just rides so beautiful. It's amazing. It's a very, very, very nice bike. As one of the guys would say, um, YouTube guys would say, two thumbs up, BMW. <laughs> I'd give it three thumbs up. <laughs> That's how nice it is. Uh, she's riding, you could ride all day on this too. The seat is so comfortable. I can't get over the seat too. Very, very comfortable seat. They got a winner here. And the winner is BMW. Yeah, beautiful bike. Very, very nice. Yeah, definitely a winner for sure. Where's that little dirt thing turnaround I did before? I can't find it. Maybe it's further back down the road. I think it's further back down the road. Um, I was going to do that little dirt turnaround to ride a little bit on the dirt. It's, it's no big deal, but it just this. The 750 and 850, even without the knobby tires with the regular street tires, I mean, it feels so planted. Um, it really feels, um, there's somebody right behind me here. This is what I want to go through, right here. Yeah, look at this, I mean, I mean, granted it's not much of anything, but you're in the dirt and the thing uh, just drives beautifully. I mean, look at this. It just makes it so easy. I mean, this, this is really nice. But I can't get over how tall this one is compared to my uh, the 750. Maybe you can get a little lower. See, I don't know if you have to be up this tall. I guess if you're off, if you're off track, because this is more of an off, you know, off the road bike. This thing is very fast. <laughs> I mean, the pickup in this thing is crazy. Let's take, uh, there's nobody behind me, let's take a... You know what's really interesting? You downshift and you don't even have to flip the throttle. It seems like it keeps, gets the RPMs up there for you. I could be wrong, but every time, maybe I've just been lucky and been in the right RPM range, but it seems like when I downshift, I am looking for a little lurch or this and that in it because maybe I didn't blip it just enough, but it doesn't. It does it perfect. It's really amazing how, how it does it, don't it? Anyway, I'm going to drop down to second. I'm just going to do maybe from 10 to 50 uh, in second gear. Let's see what we get here. Let's go down to 10 mile an hour here. Okay, you're right. 10 to, 10 to 50. I got to get low, man. I won't even use first gear, I'll, I'll use uh, second gear. I'll start off in second gear. Okay, you ready? 
I'm going to start off at 15. Wow. That'll give you an idea of the performance of this bike. It, I've, I've seen other um, reviews and they said, uh, they've said um, that the uh, performance was just a tad above the 750. I'm here to tell you that it's not a tad, this 850 is not a tad above the 750. This 850 is considerably more, has considerably more performance than the 750. Enough so that it's very, it's not like, oh gee, it feels a little bit faster. No, 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 no. It's much faster. It, uh, it has all the <laughs> I don't know. This is pretty nice. This is a surprise. I didn't think it, I thought, well, uh, okay, you know, it'll be, uh, I'm going to pull over here for a minute. Well, it'll be okay, you know. Um, but, but, um, I think, I think that, uh, It's a little more than you suspect, so. Get get off of here and we'll take a little walk around and show you the bike. And uh, there's the 850. It's looking beautiful. Give you a full look at this in the sunlight. Beautiful in the sunlight, isn't it? Look at that nice 4K video here hate to put my shadow in there. I'm sorry to put my shadow on the bike. That's lousy photography, isn't it? <laughs> so, there it is. She's all in her glory. All in her glory. You're looking beautiful. Those gold wheels, aren't those the nuts? I love those gold wheels. And uh, the uh, settings we went over earlier, those are really nice. The settings are beautiful. There's a look from the back. You know, it's the different tires. You can get them with the knobby tires. You want to do a lot of off-roading. The claim is this is more of an off-road bike than a street bike, and the 750 is more of a street bike than an off-road bike. After riding both of these bikes, even if 99% of my riding was done on the street, I might pick this one. And the only reason I might not pick this one is the fact that it sits so high. It surprised me. I wasn't, and I'm six foot one. Boy, it shifts beautiful. I mean, if you're using your shifter, I like to shift anyway, but if you're using your shifter, this thing shifts so nicely. She pulls nice. I'm just I'm just cracking the throttle. I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not uh, look out there, Sonny. <laughs> I'm not there. A little white uh, bird there trotting across the road. But um, no, I'm just cracking the throttle, and she's got plenty of she's got a lot of torque. I mean, a lot of low end torque. I'm really impressed. It's quite quite fast. In fifth gear. What are we doing? 2,500 RPMs. Fifth gear at 37 miles an hour. Not bad. I love this display. This TFT display. It's like a flat screen TV. And the other thing I like about it is I've been all over with the sun behind me, the sun in front of me, and the sun inside of me. And I, can, I never lose track of this display. This is really first rate top dog, top notch display because you're never going to have a problem seeing it. That's the thing, you know, I, the one I have in my FGO 9 I can get the uh, sun on it and you can't read the damn thing. You can't read it. Whoop. I think we'll stop for this one. So, but, um, this one, it just, the display is absolutely beautiful. I love it. The display is really good. Well, pretty nice, huh? Engine sounds great. Wow, this thing 
shift's beautiful. This might, I, there's no question, this is the nicest shifting bike I've ever ridden. I mean, it makes your shifting so smooth and so beautiful. I, I don't know how to explain it. it, it just, it's absolutely amazing. This thing just, absolutely beautiful. Uh, way this bike shifts. It's uh, absolutely glorious. I mean, it's hard to believe. I, 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 I can't believe that it does all the stuff that it does. It's just absolutely amazing. I just think the bike is spectacular. And the shifting, like I say, the only thing that would bother me a little bit is six foot one. You know, I'm not, I, I'm not flat footed on the bike. I'd like to be, and I'm sure I can get the seat changed. I'm not sure, but I probably can. I'm thinking I can. So, um, you know, I, I, I think I would, uh, I think I would get uh, the seat changed. That's the only thing. I'll ask him when I get back, see if there's something we can do about the seat. But um, other than that, I wouldn't touch a freaking thing. I wouldn't touch anything. This thing is so nice. I mean, the pickup on this thing is phenomenal. I mean, it's unbelievable. Holy smokes there. Holy moly. So, enjoy. Very nice bike, very fast, surprisingly fast. I'm really surprised with the speed this bike has. Very impressive. First of all, thank you to Eurocycle of Daytona. Eurocycle has been really great. By the way, if you get a chance to get down there, I have no special deal connection or anything with Eurocycle of Daytona, but I can tell you the people are great. They're going to treat you great. They're very fair. Uh, no high pressure sales staff that's going to try to grill you, you know, jam you into a bike. So take a look at these folks. They're very nice. They've been very nice to me. They'll let me take their bikes out and videotape them, and I'll probably buy a bike from them eventually. I know. In fact, I'm pretty sure I will. But um, I hope you like the 850 GS video you just saw. I did one on the 750 GS uh, a few weeks ago, and that's how I use for a comparison. You can look at the other video, see what I told you about that bike, and then look at the new one and see how that looks to you too. Uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate your, your viewership. And uh, if you can help me out, hit that subscribe button. That's really important. It helps us out, all our bloggers out if you hit the subscribe button. Little bell, not too far from the subscribe button. You hit that. If I put a new video out, it'll automatically send you a notice that uh, I have a new video out. So anyway, thanks for watching and hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot.